Hello, and welcome to another Path of Exile video. So we're going to be doing this video is unlocking Act 4, which is going to unlock uh, 4 Sake Crafting. So you can only imagine how powerful that these uh, level 1 items are going to be if you can add 4 sockets to it. So that's the whole reason that we restarted again, because we restart this game so much. And we, you know, we always find new information, and we always try to find better ways to get our league start. And something I found out is you can actually get, like, uh, four salt kit linked on, like, uh, anything, even if it's item level one. So we thought we would try that. So we was going through, like, uh, cause, like, uh, all these, uh, three salt kit items that we collect all, all the time, like, uh, all of our series, it's not worth going through and collecting them because you're gonna be reforging the sockets anyways to four sockets, so the sockets doesn't really matter. So we figured that out, and then we're just about to beat the act here. And we like uh, did find a bow upgrade. It's like uh, we were using this one for so long from like Act Two. And then we got this one. It's like a little bit better. Like our burning arrow was like uh, nothing, nothing uh, linked to it. There's like a uh, five sixty two DPS. But if we put this bow on, it goes to seven hundred DPS. So imagine it does more damage, as well as it makes enemies uh, bleed and it poisons them too on hit. So it's extra damage. Uh, it also does some extra things. So we finally up upgraded our bow here. So we finally did that. Uh, that took a while. Certainly just put it here for now because it's the one that we were uh, using recently. We had to switch our skill gem, like uh, Prismatic Burst Support. It's uh, probably one of the best things to link with uh, Split Arrow. But we don't have the blue socket anymore. So we just got added fire damage. There's not really too many uh, red sockets that you can actually use use with this uh, combination here. So what we're gonna do is quickly just go through Act Three here. Like there's gonna be a uh, one skill trap that we can actually pick up here, which we're gonna be picking up the Holy Relic skill jab. because the Zion she gets like uh, most of the skill jabs available to her, except that she, she doesn't get like a few of them, like the uh, Paladin or the uh, Templar Templar skill jabs. So she doesn't get like the uh, Holy Flame Totem. She doesn't get the Summon Holy Relic, which is just like level four skill gem. We're gonna do is go over here. And then we just have to go to the temple, complete the library side quest. And then after completing the library side quest, we unlock uh, every single skill gem. And then from there we can buy new skill gems our character couldn't originally have. Before I go through here, right, we just have to go through here. We already defeated Piety and everything. We already, already, uh, did defeat this other guy up here. So we just go through here, complete the, uh, library. There's not gonna be too much, uh, gameplay, right? I'm probably just gonna go through here, go next area. You see his character's still doing pretty good with this, uh, skill trick that we have here. And we could still get a lot more movement speed. So... We'll probably come back after we complete the uh, library quest over here. It's just uh, going through here, get the waypoint, go to the library, and then unlocking the new skill jabs, and then and then just go straight to Act Four to unlock the uh, four socket uh, crafting recipe. Oh, and then we uh, literally just found like a insanely good bow upgrade, right? So we're just in here. We just did the pair of guards. We didn't even find the waypoint yet or anything. We found this bow upgrade, and then we equipped it, because we have our burning arrow, and we, we, we just upgraded it from like, uh, 400, D from like 550 DPS to 700. But with this bow, we can upgrade it from 700 up to 1400 DPS, so it literally doubles the DPS. So it's kind of like before, where we picked up a bow, and then it uh, doubled their DPS. So now we're going to be able to kill things so much faster. That, like, we killed things pretty good so far. Now we get, like, uh, split arrow, momentum support. Then we, like, with another, uh, green jab here. Oh, maybe, uh, pierce support. Oh, I think we already have pierce. Yeah, with this, uh, arrow here. But I guess it pierces even more targets here. So we just had really good bow upgrades just to uh, double their damage even more. 1,400 DPS. Uh, that's just the, uh, burning arrow without anything linked to it. Like, our, uh... Split arrows, dude, 1229 DPS. 
So that's pretty good. And then we're in a uh, veil side area here. So we get our veil jabs. And we check these things to see if there's anything uh, you'd eat. Like uh, sometimes you get like uh, plus the skills. Oh, plus 114 armor while stationary. Right, you feel like you get a corrupted item that's like a level one requirement or something. Next, we, we need these like uh, four socket items. We, we, we need the uh, four socket items to show up in the uh, loot filter better. So we can't do anything with these boots or anything. So what we're gonna do is just keep going through here. So we're gonna be doing so much more damage now. Cause I, I, I thought we were gonna kill things pretty decently quick before. But now we're just gonna kill things twice, twice as quick as we, we, we just were. Yeah, everything's gonna probably like die in one hit. Why can't we get up here anywhere? Yeah, it's so, so much stronger. Going into the veil side area. Gosh, this uh, bow. And now we're doing so much more damage. So we'll, we'll come back then. We uh, have to find this uh, library, complete the side quest. That'll be the side quest here. And then complete Act 3. Alright, so we completed the library quest over here. So all we do is just uh, go over here, find the library, go find the basement, go find the four golden pages, and then we talk to him, and he gives us new skill gems if we need uh, new skill gems here. So I guess we get like uh, uh, fire penetration support, we get coal penetration support, or lightning penetration, or even uh, life leech support. Which might actually be a good thing if we need like a uh, red socket. We actually have something for a red socket here. So I guess we just take this thing, right? The uh, coal penetration. Th th this thing's really good. Especially for sorceress. If you're using like uh, lightning tendrils, you just get this lightning penetration. And I guess if we're a ranger, if we're doing cold abilities, this coal penetration work pretty good. And because it's a green socket here, right? But we can also come here and... Uh, Buy them later if we uh, need them. So if we should do this, right? So you have a uh, ice shop, multiple projectiles. We we just don't have room. So if we just uh, pick this one, but uh, more importantly, he gives you access to every skill gem up until Act Three. So we're just gonna be missing like the uh, Act Four skill gem. So you can be here to purchase uh, any skill gem that we want for like. Uh, any new characters if you want, like if you want a uh, new character to get like uh, vitality before he goes to fight the boss, and if you want to give him like uh, clarity before he goes to fight the boss, and then all these like uh, totem abilities that not everybody might not get. Although, if you actually go through and complete the uh, campaign, we'll actually get a veteran like this that's inside our hideout that a level one can actually visit. What we're gonna be doing is we, we're looking for the holy relic ability. So what this is gonna do, whenever we use an attack skill, so like any of our skills here, we're gonna get life regeneration. Usually we like to get this thing, cause the more life regeneration you have, the better. At this point, if you come here and you purchase this thing, you can uh, come purchase this uh, summon holy relic. And then if we summon him, we have to level him up a mix. He's going to be level one, so he's going to die pretty often. Once we get him up there, he's going to be giving us uh, more life regen. I, I think he even goes up to like uh, 30 life regen pretty quick. So just throw these in here. I guess don't really need that, but we, we just need the holy relic gem. We can also come here and purchase our uh, magic fire gems. Or we can also purchase the uh, move, movement speed. Right? The uh, haste aura over here. Because if you get this uh, haste aura, it, it takes a 50% of our mana, so we can't use it for just like uh, running through the game, but we can use it for farping earlier areas. If we want to get another 11% increased movement speed, all we have to do is just get this haste aura. Oh, it just costs one hour alteration. That's it. It's not even that expensive. And then I think that we didn't need. Oh no, I guess we do need these. Oh, we got a uh, socket in the boots. So we have that. That'll give us another 11% movement speed on top of everything else we have here. And then we can also come here. And we can also buy these uh, penetration support gems here. We can even buy like a uh, battle leech. But more importantly, we can buy the item rarity support gem. So if we want to go magic finding, if we get uh, intelligence, 
Yeah, it requires 57 intelligence. And then we get 41% uh, increased magic fight whenever we go magic fight things, get uh, more rare items, which uh, stacks on top of the magic fight that we have on our gear here if we have it. <laughs> so we probably get up to like 100% magic fight here pretty soon. As well as her skill points, we did level up a couple times. So what should we get here? Because we already have crump blood. We already have the movement speed. Oh, we were thinking of getting uh, re re resistances here, right? So we get increased elemental damage with attacks, increased uh, more elemental damage, plus we get elemental resistance. So it's like uh, damage plus resistance. Because our resistance, it's like uh, we, we can only get 69% fire resistance without crafting anything. Uh, the good thing about getting a little bit of like uh, resistance or strength and intelligence to the skill tree is that you don't even actually need it on your gear here. So it gives you more options for your gear. So normally we would do like a intelligence amulet, or like a strength intelligence. Yeah, we need a six strength, we need but nine intelligence to use these things. So even uh, even with all these skills here, we still need more intelligence and uh, stre strength apparently. So go through here, get our uh, resist max, and, and I'm pretty sure this works with the uh, Ballista Totem, right? So let, let's just check it out here, right? Plus the totems, a shot damage is 449. And if you get a 12% increased uh, damage, yeah, it did go out. Now it does 468. So this also helps our uh, ice shot totem here. So it's gonna give us some more uh, DPS, elemental resistance, plus some extra critical strike chance. Their DPS goes even further. And then our uh, totem, right? So we're doing like 1329. Totem is doing like 468. Now it's doing like 507, and now we're doing like 1400 DPS with the split arrow. Yeah, then the uh, burning arrow went up to 1649. And our resistances went up to max. Now we got max resistance again. And then we might go down here to just get this movement speed, because we can't think of anything else here. Unless we want to go get some uh, life or something. Because we're in Act 3, and we're about to head to Act 4, and we just have like 673 life. And I, I think you're supposed to have like 300 life per act. So it's technically like a Act 2 act two life or something. So for Act 4, we're going to need like 1200 life or something. Oh, oh then we have like the 66% damage reduction and the 44% chance to evade. So the 66% uh, damage reduction kind of negates the uh, necessity for health, it seems like. So now that we did that, we got access to the Holy Relic, we got access to the Magic Fight Skill Jab. We have to go complete this one side quest here. Yeah, then there's another side quest here, we have to go find go find the uh, tree for graves. So we'll probably come back when we're, when we're just about to defeat the boss up here, and then move on to Act 4, and then we can unlock the Forest Hockey Crafted Recipe. All right, so we're just about to defeat the act boss here. So we're thinking, like, uh, we, we could just go down here. Then we get another 11% movement speed down here. Then our, uh, cool down, uh, cool down rate of our, uh, movement speed is re reduced by 30%. So this means we can use our movement speeds a lot more. Or we go here and just get this, uh, life out of the way. Because we never actually got any, uh, life on this character. We haven't really got like uh, any any life anywhere. I think. It's like, uh, is there even any life uh, here? Yeah, the only life that we got is just like a uh, five percent increased life, and then eight percent increased life here. And I'm pretty sure that's literally all the life that we have here. We don't even have that much, right? We have six ninety three, but we're supposed to have like uh, nine hundred. We're supposed to have twelve hundred for the next act. But like, like, like I said, with all of our uh, damage reduction and everything, we, we don't seem to need it. Like, uh, we, our character's never been losing health. Like, like we go through it here. And then we just, like, uh, take and we destroy everything so quick. Like, our character is so strong for some reason. It, it's because we have so much armor, I think. And then we got our uh, life regeneration holy relic here. So we're going to be getting even uh, more life regen. And then we attack so fast, too, right? Oh, there, there goes our elf, our elf just went down a little bit.
All right, the, the, these guys come out. We, we kill them so quick, right? We're doing so much damage with this uh, new bow that does like twice the damage. Literally double their DPS again, which is this uh, one bow here. And then we just have this last guy. This is, we seem to take that pretty good. And then we just have Dominus. We go through so quick, we're destroyed. And then this character is so strong. Oh, never. I'll drop a little bit. So he's, we, we, we kind of killed him so much quicker, but we're like kind of running away and everything. So now we just have the final form. It's so fast. This uh, build is so strong. We have to check the ascendancy, right? Because I know I, I looked at a picture of the ascendancy tree. And all it is is just like uh, more strength, more dex, more it. So you just get the core stats that you need. They go through here. And then we should even be like immune to his uh, Crip Lead Raid. So e e e if you go out of this thing, we uh, sh shouldn't be taking damage from it. Although we're not going to test it. We're destroying him so fast, he's just about dead already. Here. There we go. So we got like uh, all these rare items. And for for the uh, quest rewards, we took like uh, both of the uh, magic find items. So we took like the uh, magic find amulet, which actually rolled pretty good because has like uh, twelve it, which we need, plus uh, fire, plus lightning res, and then this uh, graves rig, it also rolled a uh, fourteen percent magic find, plus uh, nine life regen, plus six percent fire res, plus fifteen percent cold res. So these uh, magic find jewelry we got, we're, we're still at max resistances. We're still max resistance here. Probably gonna do is just uh, take these rare items and then probably price up most of them eventually get craft the materials to craft our own items. But for now, we should just go here and bake. And then we're going to act for her. All right, and then we get the uh, socket recipe here pretty soon. We, we just have to go literally beat the vines, that's it. But I wonder if this will be an uh, uh, upgraded belt here. Yeah, I think, think we might need the life regen. Do we? Do we need it? Or the uh, lightning resistance? Yeah, we do. We, we need the lightning resistance on the belt. So, let's uh, go through here, collect our loot, and then uh, maybe we'll come back once we get Act 4, because it, it, it's just going to be going through that like, uh, small area there again. So if you come here, just do like uh, Dominus runs to get loot or something. We go through here. Yeah, we have to summon our holy relic again. Uh, then maybe we'll just come back once we're in the uh, Ag Four Town here, because it's just this uh, one side area. And then we just do like the first quest, get our way to the mines over there. Yeah, then we just have to uh, then we just have to unlock the two waypoints. That's it. And then it's unlocked. Then, then we can uh, craft anything we want. That, uh, that's where the uh, crafted series starts. That seems alright, right? We can stand here. And we, and we can just take everything. E even without a shield, right? So you, you, usually I think a shield is necessary. But uh, th this character, they don't have a shield. They just have extremely high armor and evasion. That's it. And a whole lot of range damage too, right? So the uh, bow, compared to a uh, lightning tendrils. Lightning tendrils, you have to go like, right, right up to the enemy. With the bow, they, they can be like uh, all the way over here, right? That's got something uh, this far away. Alright, so we got the first quest complete here. Oh, we actually have to go uh, t turn it in. So all we have to do is go over here. Go complete this. And then I'm pr pretty sure we got all the loot and everything. And then we get our go oh, um, our golem skill jab. We go over here. A red battle reward, and then we can get the the stone golem, which gives life regeneration. So we're probably gonna be getting that. We usually just get the stone golem, just so it gives you more life regen. So we get uh, all the other life regen on uh, top of the holy flame totem, or like a uh, vitality aura and everything. Then if you look at our skill tree, we're still just working our way over here to get towards some uh, health up here. 
uh, by the time we go through, he should probably actually add those three points here, and then maybe he'll come back when we get to the next uh, waypoint up here. So we have our uh, golem now, and then we have our holy relic. Maybe some of them. Uh, they both give us knife regen. And then we'll, we'll, we'll see if we make it through. Uh, this play is pretty good. Let's see if we make it through. Yeah, our character, our character is so strong. Our character is insanely powerful for some reason. I don't even know why. I don't know how he got so strong. It just destroys everything. All right, so we got most of Act Four cleared up here. And we're going through our inventory and we're see if we can uh, maybe try to get some gear upgrades because we haven't upgraded for a bit. But we do still have 62% damage reduction. And then we're looking, like, like if we could manage to get this helmet, this would give us uh, even more damage reduction. Give us like an extra, uh, I, I guess it's just 70 armor, that's it. But uh, we're maybe trying to upgrade the gloves because it's just a normal pair of gloves here. But we need these sockets. And the only thing that we found was just this uh, magical helmet, which would give us uh, armor plus evasion. So I guess it's like the same stats, kind of. And then if uh, th this replaces this, this would bring it up 100 armor. So I think it'd be positive. We'd be, we'd be up quite a bit if we just uh, switch uh, these two pieces here. So we did that. And then we could move this here. So we got like a ice shop, multiple projectiles, and then ballista toned up. Then we can link something else up here with it. What could even uh, link with it? Added fire damage support, maybe? Elemental damage support, maybe. Oh. Yeah, maybe that would work. So if this is doing 512 DPS, then we get an elemental damage link with it. It brings it up to 607 DPS. Alright, so we upgraded our totems a bit. And then we got our uh, dash ability here we need to be able to put somewhere. And we do need a uh, blue gem socket, right? Because we're thinking of upgrading to like uh, one of these three things. So we get the lordly blade. It's a little bit less armor, but it has four. Oh, I guess it has the exact same sockets, but they're linked. There we get this. This gives us less armor, but more evasion. And then we get the green red or you get this gives us a little bit less armor but it gives us an extra 100 hp essentially it's like 66 energy shield plus 40 life and then we do get our blue socket here because if we go here we go <coughs> yeah we, we just lose three percent damage reduction that's it they may be summon stone golem summon holy relic oh yeah we we need a uh, green sockets now so I wonder if uh, we replace these uh, gloves with uh, these gloves here. And then we need a red socket. So what are, let, let, let's try a jeweler's orb, right? Because if we go to uh, currency, this is like the first thing we craft. And the only thing is if it has like a uh, one gem socket. If we use a jeweler's orb, it, it's just going to be a guaranteed upgrade, so it would be anything higher than one. So we'll use a jeweler's orb on it. And we actually got four sockets. So we got the red socket we need, maybe. So we put these here. There we go. Summon holy relic. Summon stone golem. Oh, we, we, we still need the uh, green. Okay, so we, so we got those ones there, right? So we got like a uh, dash. Yeah, I wish Dash would fit somewhere else. Well, I, I guess we don't need a uh, haste here, right? Haste is just for like uh, running, running a lower level area. So I guess we go like, uh, we, oh, we can actually like uh, burn a burning arrow or something now. We like burn a burning arrow or something. So we could go to gems and then maybe prismatic burst and then maybe momentum support. Okay, so we got that all linked together again. Is that uh, maybe we can like uh, raise zombie back again? Stone stone golem. So maybe 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 the uh, stone golem get yeah, ability or something. They have to figure out what do we put in that as the uh, blue socket up there. So we go here. I guess we go to Act One. And then and then just give her golem some extra damage or something. So we go here. We go. 
added lightning damage, and then her golem does lightning damage. And then that'll probably work. And then we fill up her sockets here. And then her damage reduction is 52%, so it went down quite a bit. It was like 68%. So we lost 60% damage reduction, but her dodge chat went up by like uh, 16%. And her resistance was still max, except for the cold resistance. The cold resistance is 72%. But I think overall we did pretty good. I, I think that was good upgrades. Let me go through here. Maybe we'll maybe we'll just put this back here because it's like our old gear that we're using. Yeah, so I, I, I guess we got a whole bunch of new sockets then, right? That's the uh, new thing. We're able to put some uh, new gems back here. Able to get some old skills that we didn't have before. If we need this uh, ace to melee, we can use it. The half to start leveling these skill gems up again. I wonder if we could use like a uh, Herald ability or something. Like a Herald of Thunder, Herald of Ice. Oh. We, we can go get another minion. So we have to do is go to Act 3. Then over here, if we get the uh, Summon Spectre. Summon Inspector, then we get another minion. Summon Inspector. One armor chance. So there we go. So we can use this uh, blue saw to get another minion here, actually. Gosh. So we got a Ray Zombie. So like, this goes like this, and then. Oh, wait, actually, I think this is Burning Arrow. So we go to our hideout now, where our, our character is so strong. We got so many things. We have to go. We have to go resurrect a uh, enemy, though. We go here. We got our zombies again. Oh, I guess we need corpses to raise them. Then we got our golub. Then we got zombies here. Then we got our. Did we have three arts we're trying to do? Oh no, I guess I guess we just had the uh, two arts, which probably. I actually probably need the banner and everything. So, we can also spend our skill points here. And get some extra uh, increased life. Uh, let's just bring our life up to... From uh, 800 up to 834. Then we get this. It gives 10% life plus 20 life. So now we got 9 to 31 life. So now we got like Act 3 life. Then if we get this one, plus uh, 50 life when we level up. It should maybe give us an extra uh, 100 life or something. So that's probably going to be our next uh, skill tree move here. So what we need to do now is just work our way here and get these uh, two waypoints. And then once we get the uh, two waypoints, we unlock the uh, socket craft recipe. So we just come to our craft event here. And to get this one, we need to go to KM Stronghold, socket links, two to four link sockets. Then we have to go to Grand Arena. Socket numbers, two to four sockets. And then we can take these level one armors. Then we can add four sockets to a level one armor. It's so crazy. So before I come back, let's see, beat these areas. We've, we've done so many lava cores. Our character's so strong. We'll probably just run through it, get the waypoint. And then come back. And then the craft recipes unlocked. All right. Then, uh, si since we don't like this, uh, 72% cold resistance, we would like to get another 4% cold resistance. Just looking at our gear, we could actually add, a uh, cold resistance to this belt here. Or it could add to the gloves or something. So I guess that works, right? Because the uh, belt, we might want to upgrade it later. But, uh, yeah, I guess we want to upgrade these, uh, gloves later. But for these gloves... It uh, has good sockets and everything. We need cold rest, so we add some lightning damage, plus evasion, plus 43 life, plus 20% uh, fire resistance, plus 20% cold resistance, so we got the most that we could possibly get in it. Hopefully we, hopefully we uh, use the right recipe, right? Oh, because we, we, we don't have the second one unlocked, okay. Yeah, cause there's another one that costs like a uh, alchemy orb or something. So there we go. We got our extra 4% uh, cold res, and we rolled this, and it rolled the uh, max resistance. That's like an even better pair of gloves. Then we got 92% cold. 
And I, and I think you I think you want to get like a over resistance anyways, right? Because uh, the enemies the enemies like uh, cast these abilities that lower your resistance. I think if you go to like uh, Act Three, what is it? If you go here, I, I think it's like uh, this or something. Yeah, elemental weakness. The enemies can cast this on you, then you get like a negative 18% resistance, or they get like a flammability, negative 20% resistance. So I think our resistance have to be like a 15 or 20% over, 15 or 20% yeah. over as the uh, curses are gonna lower it. So, so it is a good thing to get a 92% cold resistance, so. They can just lower it down to 72, I think. Maybe, maybe even like a. 77 or something So we're over capped on res. That's good. Then all we have to do is just go through and get these last two waypoints here All right, so we did level up here such as better skill point so our HP is 9 46 and if you go like this it gets plus 50 HP All we have to do is like the plus 50 to max level light here it goes to 1,010. So we got over 1,000 HP now. 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So our HP is almost uh, at 4 HP. Oh, plus energy shield. Yeah, it's getting pretty close. So we just come here, then we get our uh, life if we need it. Now we got all of our uh, movement speed, all our damage and everything. We're killing things so quick. We got immunity to piety and everything. Max resistance. The only thing to do is come down here to get this 11% movement speed. Because uh, may maybe there's other things to do. Besides, I think that's pretty good. So just keep going through here and then uh, work right towards the wave. Alright. Alright, so we're just about to unlock the second recipe here. So we already actually went and uh, unlocked the first one by accident. So, so I think we like, uh, accidentally clicked it. But when you get to the Grand Arena waypoint over here, there's going to be a crafting recipe right here. Just over at the Grand Arena. And it's going to give you three sockets, I think. Yeah, give up to uh, four sockets here. So once you go over there and unlock uh, this recipe, we go to sockets. And then we can add two sockets, three sockets, and four sockets. And, and we can even add these on like a uh, level one item. Like if, if we take these uh, fish scale gauntlets here, these uh, boots or something, or any, any of these uh, helmets here, we take it, it doesn't matter like uh, what the sockets is, we just take it here, and then we add four sockets, and then we can have four sockets on a item level one item. It's so OP. So we figured that out. <laughs> and then if we want to link the sockets, we have to go get the other, other recipe here from the other side over there. Which will allow us to fuse the sockets together. Because if we go over here, and then we go to KO stronghold, stronghold over here. There's going to be another craft the recipe. There's just here by this way pie as well. Then we come here and get this one. Oh, I guess we'll get this guy. And then we get a new recipe. We get the socket uh, link recipe, I think. So we get all that done. And then uh, now we go back to our hideout here. I have to get both of those recipes. Go back to the crafting batch. And then if we have this like uh, four socket item level one, then we, we can even take this like uh, scale vest or this helmet or this uh, E e even like uh, this uh, thing with like uh, one, one uh, socket or something. <laughs> or we can even do it on like uh, high level items. Like if we have like a perfect defense lowerly plate, we take this perfect defense lowerly plate. Even, even if it just has like a uh, one socket. So I thought that we uh, had some, I thought we had another lowerly plate that was something. So I guess we have this like a uh, lowerly plate. It was three sockets. It. We come here, we make it four sockets, and we can also link the sockets. We, we just need to get the uh, craft materials here. So now that we have that unlocked, we're maybe, maybe we should uh, just uh, go through the back fort here. Oh, we get a uh, four sock like the red gloves, this might even be like a, it has so much more defense. 
Oh, plus it even has a uh, rarity, plus attack speed. So it's just these uh, different colored sockets on it. I guess we can't use anything, so like a uh, red green. I guess maybe we, we would just lose the multiple projectiles or something. I guess it's out here, right? Burning arrow. We we would like to use those gloves. And they found that. They found another herb piece here. So if we go to our skill tree, got to figure out where to go, right? So uh, we we could get more movement speed or get more damage. So we should go here. 12% increased damage with bows, and then the uh, next level gives us 20% increased damage, plus 6% attack speed, plus 10% accuracy, plus 20% damage over time. Extra accuracy is 195. So if we keep a uh, razor damage up, and then after that, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh, I guess we get movement speed up here too. There's also damage plus movement speed up here. Should so probably do this to increase our uh, damage a bit. He has like another extra 100 DPS. More attack speed. More movement speed. Plus damage. Yeah, let's just come down over here and get that. So there we go. Then our Rise of Style backs and everything. Yeah, our Rise of Style over Cat. We said, all, uh, oh, we only have like 49% damage reduction. But essentially, that's all we had to do. All we had to do is just uh, get up to Act 4 here, get these two craft recipes, and if we want to, we can start crafting items. So we finally got here.